Uh, it's impressive to see the fans coming out, you know. Um, just, it's about when you get hot for me. Uh, been in college for like seven years now, so. Um, did it at Gardner Webb at a one bit league, so we're, we're in the same position where we just got to win either three games in, in three days, and, and it's possible because anything is possible once you get hot. What enabled you guys to play so well today? Uh, the defeat against Washington, we I felt like we should have won that game, but some miscues. And then uh, Arizona was probably one of the, the worst loss of my college career. So that was a little embarrassment for me because um, I like winning a lot. And just it's just not happening, but we still got some games left, and we still can make it happen. Is part of this just like a, a pride, sort of a check that you guys are, need to respond to kind of yeah, for sure. Uh, we got to go out with pride, you know. Our pride got to get in the way. Uh, I just feel like we go, we went out, get the best seat possible, and see where it stands and who we match up well with. Match up, you know. It's all about matchups in March. Jose, after you know that really good second half against Washington, you talked about like playing with pride. What was the focus like in the locker room coming into today's game? Because you guys came out of the game pretty strong. It was, like uh, it was real focus, you know, coach. Coach told us we got to be the good eggs. You guys don't know what that means, but once y'all put that out there, I think uh, the whole team were good. We we're, were a bunch of good eggs today. When you guys got the ball around the rim in time in this game, um, what was the factor that enabled that? Uh, just being aggressive, you know. Uh, Washington played zone against us, but they had Mia down there, and uh, I feel like just Washington State didn't have enough. Uh, people that altered the, the shots, you know, so we, we were able to get down there. And we also was able to spread them out because we hit six threes as well. So we were six for 14 from three. What did you think of uh, Brian's opening? Brian's been playing really good the last two or three games for real. He's played really hard. He does his job, doesn't really need the ball, but he's going to go out there and do all the dirty work. He's, a, he's like a Dennis Robin. It seemed like it was balanced, balanced scoring, balance and rebounding. And it seemed like you guys did a much better job of moving the ball, making passes, and playing more connected, I guess, if that's the word. Yeah, I feel like uh, we do go on stretches where, you know, it just doesn't go our way and the shots don't fall and look like we're playing selfish. But we, we, we are playing together, you know, and we're making the right plays this game. We did it uh, the majority, 80% of the time. And now it's just about doing it against Arizona because I haven't played here yet, but I heard it's going to be electric. When you get the ball kind of it's not confidence, it's being able to read the defense, just taking what the defense gives you. I feel like if I have a one-on-one -on -one ma matchup, it's, it's a nightmare. Um, but if you bring two, I'm probably going to dice you up, be able to find some shooters. It just depends if our team is making shots, if I'm making shots, and just just depends on, on the opponent as well. Yeah. When you talk about, obviously, the rebounds, but obviously tying on 35 and no, Coach has been talking about defense all year, but when you when you guys have that energy rebounding, everybody's crashing the boards. How much of an advantage do you feel like gives you guys? It gives an as an advantage because I feel like we're really difficult to guard on on, on offense when, when we're hitting shots and we go small and I can play the four or Jemiah goes at the four and then we got Zoe at the five and he's knocking down the pick and pop three. Uh, it's it's impossible to guard us at that at that level when we're knocking down shots and I feel like that's where we're getting right now. Jose, you mentioned Wednesday coming up, and obviously you all had a tough loss to Arizona, but now just beating the team that beat them on Thursday, how does that mentally prepare you as a team? It's just college basketball. It happens. Um, they went in there and beat them. There's a tough place to play in Arizona. Their fans are brutal. They say a lot of weird things, but they got to come in here now and try to try to get one. Uh, the team shot 11 free throws tonight, and you shot eight. Talk about the effect of your free throws. Is, is, is what you're going for around eight free throws? Is it more? Is that a, is that a high I feel rate? like I should be getting there more, but these refs, man, I don't <laughs> know what's going on there, but I'm getting there enough. Uh, shot eight. I shot 10 versus Washington. I missed five brutal ones, but just that's one of my fortes to get me going, getting to the free throw line, being able to see the ball go in, seeing easy ones. And then being able to stretch it out to the three, I just haven't taken a lot of them. Don't need to. How much of this is a big confidence boost for you guys to be the nationally ranked team, I mean, especially after the last couple of games? Yeah, you don't get many opportunities to be a nationally ranked team, like a top 25 team. So uh, they're still going to be in the top 25 coming up Monday because they beat Arizona. So 
But it's a good win for us. Now, got Arizona. Then we go to the LA trip, get those two. And then it's time to play ball. It's when I go home time. Do any feelings change knowing that you just beat a team that beat Arizona? For me or for the team? For, for me, it's a little different just because I go next game mentality. It just depends on who we playing. For the team, it's definitely uh, gives them a confident boost because they see what we could do against top national ranked people. All right, Jose, we'll get you out of here. Brian Salabon is joining us.